Okay, so you have you you doing your, you do your thing, and then how does that work for the NBA player? I know the season is during the summer. Like mm-hmm. after that, like do you want to play? Do you go overseas? Yeah. Like what? What's... Well, my first three years I did go overseas. So I played in Turkey my first year. Okay. I played in Russia my second and third year. And then last year I didn't, and this year I didn't. So like it just kind of depends. Like I'm all for going overseas because like you can make especially like. When you're on a rookie yeah. contract with WNBA, you make it like three times. If you're a good player, you make it like two, three times more than you make in the WNBA. So, of course, you're going to go overseas. But I think as I've gotten, you know, more in the league and I've gotten more, like, deals and stuff here, yeah. it's like playing 11 months out the year is is hard. Like, because with that, it's like, okay, we play May to October, and then they watch you overseas seven to, you know, 10, 14 days, and then – you people are coming back like a day or two before the first game. Some people are even late, like, but they put like a new uh, rule in where now you have to be here for training camp. But like, my first couple of years, I was coming back like three days before the first game. So that's really playing year round. It's like, and it's not sweet overseas. You know about overseas. Oh my it's like, god, bro. that's so tough. So it's, it's like you playing too hard, 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 and especially being like. You know, a for- you're really a foreigner when you go overseas and play in their country. They're not having it. So it's like what? everybody you're, you're going at you. That's what, what I'm mean? saying. Everybody's going at you. So you're just getting pounded, pounded for 11 months straight. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I uh, I remember I went to, like, I, I went to Spain my first year. And then my, first, my second year, I went to Greece. It was cool because mm-hmm. I, was, I was where I'm from, too. But, like, when I was in Spain, and it was just 10 people roster and then, like, so much expectation. I'd say that they're paying you. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, they you, give you some money. Yeah. But now I understand, like, you know, everybody's picking Russia. I don't, yeah. wanna, I don't know. I'm like, oh, my God, yeah, Russia's facts. cold, you know? Facts, and I'm like, facts. I want to be in Europe, and I want to yeah. be somewhere in EuroLeague, yeah. obviously. But you going to Russia. How was your experience in Russia? Honestly, I liked it. Like, I'm a simple person, though. So, I like, they pay for your house. Like, you had a, I had a driver. Like, I really wasn't worried about anything. So, honestly, I enjoyed it. And they treated me well, you know, at the team I was at. So, Really no complaints. It was cold, but I'm also from Wisconsin, so it's like it's not oh, anything oh, yeah. new. True, it's true, nothing true, new true. for me. So it wasn't bad. Do you um you ever felt like homesick or like? Uh-huh. My first year a little bit once I got like used to it, but you know my family came and visited me. Like my mom came for Christmas, my brother yeah. came, uh, you know, in like March. So it wasn't it wasn't that bad, honestly. Oh, so you got? Yeah. I remember my first year. I mean, my first year in the states, I was homesick. I was yeah. Like, oh, God, but but I got a flight, you know, the, for the family and stuff like that. But I, I was really homesick. Though. It's just tough, like being on social media. Like you just watching everybody just living their best life out here. I'm like, I'm missing concerts. I'm missing <laughs> events. I'm like, that's the biggest thing for me. I was just like, damn, like I really could have been there. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, here. You know, Burner was in, you know, Burner was in Chicago, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like, what? man, <laughs> yeah, that used to be that used to be sickening. Just seeing everybody that I know that in places I could have been, but I'm over here. <laughs> In yeah. five degree weather, like cuddled up in my dang bed, like. Yeah, but that's why you make the big bucks. Yeah, though. yeah. That's Sometimes you, you gotta hey. sacrifice. I'm like these people also not making you know three figures either. So it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is what it is. So okay, and then you come back, and then you, but how does that work? I mean, if you guys don't do training camp together, how does the team chemistry work? Yeah, well, that was tough. But now, like I said, there's a new rule. Well, people have to be here for training camp. But before, it's just like. People coming in late, like I said, a player can come like two days before and y'all just got to figure it out type thing and work throughout the season. So I'm I'm glad the rule is made just so you can build something with teams and like yeah. it's not an advantage for other people who don't go overseas and then their team is together and you waiting on a, right. you know one of your best players to come back. So that part was tough though, for sure. Do you, I mean, obviously everybody gets into it. I, I didn't got into yeah. it so many times with like different people and just like, <laughs> No, because for my rookie year especially, like I'm trying to like, I'm trying to eat, but yeah, I, now I'm 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 the what's it like the glue guy and this guy, yeah. that guy. But me coming in, that's what I'm trying to tell guys, like you like it used to be because you know guys see me now, like with the podcast and all these things and all, all these other things, business ventures for the family outside of basketball. And they go like, Oh yeah, I gotta do that, I gotta do that. and I go like, no, nah, not really, because it took me it's my 11th year now. It took me like seven years to like, build up. It was just basketball. Yeah. And and the tricks of the trade and how to post up and how to defend and how to get people agitated, how to make people angry when I play. Like mm. that was my whole thing. Mm. And now all of a sudden now okay now I'm like okay I'm I'm building some like good bases for when I when I'm done. But like people just now it's different. Like you see nil, you see guys like what's what's your take on like, you know saying like okay, I want to build something off the court, but like. Doing it the right way, you know. You see all these people now, even Kathleen and this. They gotta make a decision. They go to WNBA, and they're going to WNBA. Angel Reese. It's like, 
What's your take on this? What do you feel like? I mean, I feel <clears throat> for everybody's situation is different. Like, you know, if they feel like that's best for their family to not be in the WNBA, then that's that. But I feel like it takes – I mean, for the players in the league, it, it took a while to build it up, but now, like, you can build it up in college to where you can, you know, set something up for once you get to WBA, like, you're already set. But it's still tough. Like, the off-court might be good, but now you got to show that you can be on the court because people can also be big in college yeah. and come WBA and kind of get lost a little bit. So it just it just really depends on, you know, the person and the player, honestly, truly. Yeah. Who, who like, like, did you have any role models? Who were you watching growing up, like – um, honestly, like I would like the most I would say is I would watch Kobe, but like yeah, even because you that, had number twenty four, is that inspired by Kobe? The thing is, honestly though, that was like my first number on my AAU team, and it was like okay. me and my best friend joined. It was twenty four and twenty five because yeah. Kobe was eight at the time I started playing AAU. He was number eight, so like it just so happened to you know, work out that way. So I like to say I was the first 24, even though nobody in the world cares. <laughs> but I like to say I was the original. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, so that's really the story of how it happened. But then obviously I kept it and then I love Kobe too. So it just worked out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's by how the, I got by, that. I mean, by the way, Kobe's your like dog's name too, right? Yeah. yeah. But I changed it to with the eye. <laughs> with the eye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe with the, with the eye, I was about to say that. Are you a pet person? Like, are you like? Yeah, I love my dog. Like, that's mostly what I do. Like, how long, how long, how long are you having for? Uh, I got him my junior year of college. Yes. It was hard. I had to give it to my mom for a little bit because I'm like, this dog. <laughs> I'm waking up every morning. He he done pooped in the cage, pooped in the house. I'm trying to go to school. I'm yes. like, man, but he's perfect now. He's so perfect. good. So you yeah. had no, you you haven't had you haven't since college. What? Yeah, my junior year, I got him 2017. Man. Yeah. But do you say okay now? Because of my college, like, were you a star in college? Um, yeah. Were you, were you, I, but, well, were you a bigger star than Pat Connaughton, though? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's not kind of, I Once I won that national championship, I yes, was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, he, he was a bucket, though. He definitely, you know, made his <laughs> place in Notre Dame. His you know, I, I have like three guys I've been teammates from Notre Dame. It, really? It's been Pat Connaughton. Pat, who else? Jerrion Grand. Oh, you played with Jerrion. In New York. Yeah. yeah Jerrion played together. And then I played with Zach August uh, overseas. Yeah, he's yeah, from Greece, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so he's Greek, so yeah. we played together. They were all like the same class, too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, were, they were a buck. I think I was a freshman when they were a senior, but they were they were good. Yeah, so, so how did Notre Dame treat you? They treat you good? Yeah, they treated me great. I love Notre <laughs> Dame. Like, <laughs> I love Notre Dame, honestly. Like, the coaching staff, the place. Like, it's like a big family, honestly. And especially now, like, that I'm out of it, like, alumni they always support you know whatever you do like yeah. and if you have some Notre Dame on and or if they know you went to Notre Dame you could be in the airport they're gonna say go Irish like it doesn't matter who it is so Notre Dame is just like a big family what do you what is the biggest thing you miss about it you anything you miss all college the free everything you get free food you get you know charter flights <laughs> with the food they feeding you everywhere you go for free I miss that you got to pay for your food on the road here but I think you said about charter flights so mm -hmm. in NBA, how do you guys fly commercial Commercial? Yeah. And it's crazy. You go from college, like we chartered everywhere in college yes. to go into the pro, and now you, you know, you pack on commercials. It's tough. Hopefully, in a couple years, you they know. Lose, they'll switch it up. Yeah. We're we, 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 going to have to switch. Like we charter for playoffs now, so that's a step, but we need to charter every game. It just saves so much. Yes. Like, oh, yes, you do. You guys do go. Because I heard there was, a, there was an article that came out that the team got fined. Oh, no. yeah. It's like you finding people for making it easy. Like if an ownership wants to give them a plane, because I think it was New York. It was New York? Because he owns the Nets, too, so he got yeah. money. So they was, <laughs> I guess, for like a while, they were just secretly just chartering everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> But then they end up getting caught. I don't know how. <laughs> somebody it was somebody, like said, somebody was hating. Somebody seen them like, hey. They hate me, bro. I'm allergic. You know what? One of the things, I, I, obviously, I'm allergic to shrimp. Oh really? But I'm allergic to haters, bro. Yeah, nah, facts. Hating that. Facts. <laughs> I, 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 I hate haters. Word, like I'm allergic. To people people. got like my, my whole thing is like, what's for you is for you. Like you hating on the next man isn't gonna get you that. Like you know your path, what God has for you is for you. So exactly. I never hate. Like whatever it is, that's why I'm like I don't even think about the nil stuff because what is me <laughs> saying? Oh, these college girls got it right, gonna do for me? Hey. Like nothing. So I don't even worry about it. Uh, 